Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if Windows is not able to detect your network's proxy settings, message you're coming across on your Windows computer. So if you're not using a proxy server or you don't want to be using a proxy server to connect to the internet, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys just how to reset your network settings back to default the easiest way. And we're going to go ahead with that and just get it resolved for you guys in a quick and timely manner. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I do want to point out, if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection to connect to the internet, you want to take note of your Wi-Fi password before you reset your network settings. It'll have it on the back of the router. You should have a passcode on there. So just take note of that if you don't have it nearby, because we are going to reset our network settings here back to default. So in order to do that, just open up the search menu, type in settings, Best result should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then on the left side, select network and internet. And now on the right, scroll down to advanced network settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button, and then select Yes. Now you want to close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, now, if you attempt to connect back to your Wi-Fi, you should hopefully just be able to enter in your passcode and everything should be good. If you're using an Ethernet-based connection, you don't need a passcode. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.